So we're going to find out, is child support really a curse? Because you, you married Kyle, right? Yeah. Kyle, my brother Kyle, is married, so he doesn't have to deal with child support. What does, what is child support? What does that mean? Telling you the government how to telling support you your children. how to support your when children. When you're going to support them and how much it's going to take to support them. So the government telling you how you're going to support your children, how much you're going to support your children, and when you're going to support them, right? And that looks like in the form of if you get paid bi-weekly or every week, that looks like they're going to take a percentage out of your check on a weekly basis or bi-weekly. That's what that looked like from what you said. You said how much, when, and what else you said? said when how much uh-huh and um, how it looks like yeah money like, yeah. in the in the form of money as far as they're concerned all right pay attention cal read this for me the book of the, the book of first timothy chapter five and verse eight. eight but if any provide not for his own it said but if any provide not for his own read and especially for those of his own house it said especially for those of his own house are children of your house, Cal? They your kids? Yeah. All right. The children you pay child support for, Tony, are they your kids? Yes. All right, read. He hath denied the faith. So if you don't provide for yours of your own house specifically, what, what did it say that man have done? He hath denied the faith. And what? And is worse than an infidel. You're worse than an infidel. That's what the Lord say if you, if you ain't doing that child support. Remember, there will be no need of child support, so-called black men and women. There will be no need of child support if what? If we honored the law of thou shalt not commit adultery. Right. If we got married, thus saith the Lord. Right? There would be no child support. And I get it. You may didn't know that before. Right? You may have, you know, was young. What they say, young, dumb, and stupid. You may have did those things in your youth. Right? Now, you married. Right now, Tony? You married? So my brother Cal and Tony married. So the woman you married to, do you got children with her? Not yet? Okay. Lord's willing, once you do have children with her, can she put you on child support? No. Why? Because you're in that covenant of marriage. Right. So is that a curse, child support? Thus if the Lord, I'm not your own feelings and emotions. Thus if the Lord, is that a curse? No, it's not a curse because most of our men, I'm not going to say all, all black men, I ain't going to say that. Because that's what the media likes to put on our people. That the black man ain't no damn good. He just a nigga. He don't take care of his kids. But the studies show that it's what, over 80% of black men are the ones that actually take care of their families. That take care of their children. That take the time out out of so-called white people, Asians, East Indian. It said the so-called African American men. Over 80% actually take care of their family, take care of the kids. That's right. So why is it so known and well spread as a proverb that the black man is no damn good? That's media. That's not truth. That's not facts. That's media. But to touch on child support, right? There's more than one form of taking care of your kids. You say it's a curse because the government tells you how to support your children, when to support your children, and how much to support your children, right? Is, is uh, feeding your kids supporting your, your children? Is putting clothes on their back supporting them. A roof over their head supporting them. But what does that require? Money. 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 Go ahead and give me the money answer for all things Ecclesiastes. Yep. Go ahead and give me that. Money. Mo okay, hold that question real quick. What's your name, brother? Travis. Travis. So we got Travis, Tony, and Cal. Travis, you married? Yeah. You married? Okay, all praises. So you're not on child support. All praises to the most high. So He's not on child support. Why, Tony? Because he married. He's not on child support. Why, Kyle? Because he's married. He's into that covenant of the Lord of marriage. So now that you marry a woman, she can't put you on child support, right? And then you said that was the form that the government does what? Use the curses. But in reality, is that really a curse? No. Now, the reason why I say this is because the Lord said if you don't provide. Now you have men that provide in other ways besides money. You may have men that pick up their kids after school. They buy them clothes, they, they take them shopping. They do all these things, but then on top of that, you got the government that may say, hey, I need that percent, that, you know, what's child support percent, brothers? Seven percent. Seven percent, right? They may say, I need that seven percent out that check, right? Mind you, you taking your kids, you picking them up from school. You're doing the homework with them. you feeding them at your own house. But what the government tell you, 7%. So all black men 
don't take care of it. Uh, do not not take care of their kids. All black men are so-called deadbeat fathers, right? So it does become a curse in that instance. But it's only a curse because you didn't do what? Marry. You agree with that, Travis? Because we we said thus saith the Lord according to First Timothy five and eight. It said if any man provide not read that again for Travis. Because most of our men will say child support is a curse. All right, most black men, you know, because you ask the East Indian man or the so-called Chinese man, is he on child support? You you won't hear nothing about him being on child support, right? So, but the so-called black man, that's a staple in our community. That's a proverb, right? Go ahead and read that. First Timothy 5 and 8. So we're going to show the scriptures say, if any man provide not for those of his own house, or especially those of his own house, he has denied the faith. Read that. The book of First Timothy, chapter 5, verse 8. Read. But if any provide not for his... It said if any provide not. Child support is a form of what? what you get? Support, right? Because it says child support. You use money to support the what? The child. But what word did the Bible just use? It didn't use support, it used what? Provide. There you go, provide. And that's the saying, a man provide for his family, right? He gonna go out to provide for his family. So, read that again for Travis. But if any provide not for his his own, and, ex, and, spe, and especially for those of his own house, he have denied the faith. You, it's, that's if you don't believe in God. You don't believe in this Bible, you denied the faith. If you really are a deadbeat father, you have denied the faith, right? Because you do have some fathers that all they will do is pay child support. Now I get it, you may, you know, give the baby moms and she a dragon. She, I can't stand her, I can't, this all I am gonna do for them. I can't stand you, but I love my kids, I'm gonna make sure they're taken care of. And by the laws that be of the government, so you can't throw me in jail, I'll pay that child support, but I'm gonna stay far away. I'm gonna give them some phone calls, if I can see him on the weekends, I'm going to see him on the weekends. But I'm going to stay away from you. How you doing, sister? All praises. Listen up. Listen up. So child support in reality is not a curse. If that man is a deadbeat, it's not a curse. But if he actually picking up his kids, if he actually taking care of them, doing the homework with them, teaching them, guiding them, and then on top of that, he's having to pay 7% on doing all those things, that's when it becomes a curse. But if he's providing for them, like the Bible say, then that's when it's a curse. Right? So it's two perspectives of that. Reality, the reason why child support is instituted is because as a whole, so-called black men don't take care of their children. But studies have shown that in reality, we're the so-called race that takes the more the most care of our children, right. right? So don't believe everything you hear. What was your question, Tony? Well, the question is because you mentioned being married, right? Right. Uh, sister, what's your name? Excuse me. My real name is Kiki. Kiki. All right, Kiki, what we touch on right now. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, what we touching on right now is marriage and the honorableness of marriage and a side or a sublet of that child support, right? If you don't get married, nine times out of ten, you'll be put on child support, right? So Kiki, that's what we touching on right now. Uh, marriage is honorable, right? So that's what you're walking into. And that's what we teach in the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, according to the Bible, also known as God's chosen people, he told us marriage is honorable, not baby mamas, not baby daddies. When you have those things, now you have a curse known as child support, right? What was your question, Tony? So you mentioned being married will yes, basically sir. prevent child support, right? Right, if you get married. So right. in the instance where you've been married to that individual, right? get a divorce, then they decide they want to put you on child support. Right. right? Then how does that fall in line because then that's not really dealing with um, not being in covenant. Right. Right? That's true. So, and I'm only speaking from my own person. Yeah, so yeah, I got with you. With that talking. being the case, you take care of your children. How you doing, sis? Listen up, listen up. You are taking care of your children. You are making sure that they are provided for. Let us know what you need to do. Right? You are making sure they are provided for. Tell Andres, I'm going to call him But that's still placed on you. Right? Right. On child support. Gotcha. Um, and whether it's because you take it as though the person is trying to be vindictive or break you they down may be. in a sense. They may be. That's why I say a curse because given. it's right. trying to that's prevent you from succeeding. Uh -huh. You get what I mean? But how would you go about that? How would you answer that from the scripts? Because if you have been married to that individual, uh -huh. 
You get what I mean? I got you. Yeah. So, and we, and I touched on that. I was saying that if a man does provide for yeah. his family, what is child support? Yeah. A curse. A curse yeah. But if you that's, you really is a deadbeat father that don't do nothing for your kids, mm -hmm. and the government has to force something out of you, like, yeah, I need that from your check, before you see your check, yeah. then, yeah, that's when it's, oh, you, yeah, you need that. that yeah. yeah. That's what's, thus saith the Lord. Because if, if any man provide not, so you have to provide, right? But on the other, on the other uh, spectrum, what we said was, if you do those things, you provide them for them, clothing, food, they at your house, you pick them up from school, you drop them off at school, you build them with them, and then on top of that, you get hit with 7%, that's a curse. Because you, you're providing all those things. You're doing what the money would is supposed to do, right? They only take the money because the so-called single mother needs help. She needs financial assistance, right? But read this. So if you put on child support because you got a divorce, read this. The book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach in the Apocrypha, okay. 6, verse 7. If thou wilt get a friend, prove him first. So it said, if thou wilt get a friend, prove him first. Read. And be not hasty to credit him. Be not hasty to credit him. So right now it's it's being spoken or being written in a masculine tone, right? But what is a what is your spouse ultimately supposed to be? Travis. Let me ask Travis. That helped me. True. What about you, Cal? What is your spouse supposed to be? Your partner. Your partner, okay. And before y'all get to all those things, what would y'all start off as? Friends. Friend. Right? Read that again for me. If thou wouldst get a friend. Prove him first. So what must you do with your, because all y'all married, so what would you have to do with your wife first? Prove him. Prove You agree? Yeah. You agree with that, Kiki? Are you married? No. Not yet? You looking to be married? Yeah. Okay, all praises. So we about to touch on a key component of being married, Kiki. All these men are saying they, they must prove their friend first, right? Because that's what God said. So that's what they should have done so we can avoid the next step of divorce. So, because the vows was what? What was your vows as far as life and death? Good for forever, good for bad, or better for worse. Well, life and death, life and death. Until yeah. death. There you go. Life. It's till yeah, death do you part, right? Yeah. That's what that's what it's striven for. That's what the oath was. That was the covenant, the vow that you made with each other, right? And sickness or health, you know, X, Y, and Z. But it said till death. So when you don't do till death do you part, because you didn't prove a friend, what may happen? Read that again. The, the if, and be not hasty to credit him. So if you was hasty to credit that friend who then later became that wife or that spouse or that husband, because Kiki, you can marry a man, then he turned out to be abusive. You know, he be just dragging you. Or then he don't take care of you or financial abuse or physical or emotional abuse, right? If you don't prove a friend. Just like all these men can do those things to their wives, to your wife, if she didn't prove you, right? So, to avoid child support, what must a man have done? Prove. Proved a friend, right? Because it said your vows was to death do you part. When you sign a paper, you know, you say it in front of them, then you kiss, boom, to death do you part. So when death does not do you part, and you know, I ain't saying go out and do no things, you know, to the, to the partner if y'all do divorce, but if death didn't do you part, now you open up yourself to that curse if you that responsible man if you're that godly man now you opened up yourself to that curse potentially right so that does that answer your question tony yeah. so if you would have proved a friend like i said you may have been young or whatnot and that you you may didn't know the scriptures you ain't made had that wisdom so now damn okay i, I gotta here go that seven percent here you go or when they get older like the officer dealt with you the daughter may come to live with you right she may hey come live with you you ain't gotta pay child support we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.